The new Microsoft Surface 3 is the less expensive little brother of last year's Surface Pro 3. They look a lot alike, so the natural question is, how do they compare? The biggest difference between the two is price. The Surface Pro 3 is sold as a full replacement for your laptop, starting at $799 for the base model with an Intel Core i3 processor and 64 gigs of storage. The version we reviewed, however, has a Core i5 processor, 256 gigs of storage, and sells for $1299, and configurations range up to almost $2,000. The new Surface 3, on the other hand, starts at $499. That's a lot more affordable. There are differences, though. The Surface 3 has much less powerful but more energy efficient Intel Atom processor. It won't fully replace your laptop PC, but it will run all of your Windows software, and it's perfect for browsing the web, taking notes in class, or doing basic work. It also has longer battery life, lasting almost 10 hours. The previous Surface Pro 3 was closer to 9. The smaller size means a smaller display, but it still has the same touch and pen support of the larger Pro, and the lighter weight and longer battery life actually make it much more mobile. The Surface Pro was heavy and clunky, while the new Surface 3 is light and comfortable to hold in one hand. Finally, there's the accessories. The Surface Pro 3 included the Surface Pen, but not the type cover keyboard. The new Surface 3, however, does not have the pen either, so you'll have to buy both of those separately. For the keyboard and the pen, it's an extra 120 bucks. If you want a tablet that will effectively replace your laptop, the older Surface Pro 3 is the way to go, though you will pay a little more for the extra capability. For a lightweight second device, for taking notes or for using your software on the go, the new Surface 3 is a great choice, on par with some of the best Windows tablets around. For the full review of the Microsoft Surface 3, check out PCMag.com.